French fry shortage could be coming after a weak potato harvest. The U.S. Department of Agriculture is estimating that the domestic potato output will drop 6% this year. Are we ready for meat-based vegetables, Matt? I am sorry. This is a huge deal to me. Okay. I saw the story and I freaked yeah, you're, out. You're worried about this. I am really worried. I I have a soft spot for um, French fries, and also I I think actually prediction uh, fast food markets uh, going to feel a pinch. All right, those 99 cent fries. Okay, for all, all the right, here we go. <laughs> Thousands of packages are stolen from doorsteps, particularly during the holiday season. The New York Times reported on Monday that up to 90,000 packages are stolen or lost daily in New York City. 90,000. Who pays for that? <laughs> Here's what the police say we should do. Ready for this? Have your package delivered to your work. Have your package delivered to the home of a friend. Have your package held at your local post office. <laughs> Take advantage of ship to store option like Amazon Locker. Request that your package has signature, signature confirmation. In other words, don't get your packages delivered to your house. <laughs> so right? much for I mean, one day is, shipping. This is what it's come to, Amazon. What, what the this hell is, is the point? We just got one day shipping and now it's ruined. I know. Ridiculous. All right. Hedge fund billionaire. Uh, I forgot to write his name down. A hedge fund billionaire. <laughs> Bought a Palm Beach mansion for $111 million. You got that right. The house has 22 bathrooms, a bowling alley, salon, spa, ice cream stand, and candy parlor. But it doesn't have a roller coaster. So shut up, Elizabeth Warning. Quit quit whining. Thank you. <laughs> How fast before that house is underwater? Uh, literally or, or figuratively? Literally underwater. I just saw like the Key West estimates of they can't save a bunch of the keys so no fries and underwater mansion wow the world is terrible meat producers have unleashed no dog meat and pun intended a savage marketing campaign that claims plant-based meat alternatives are unhealthy ultra processed imitations similar to dog food Mm. One ad posed the question, <laughs> what's hiding in your plant-based meat? Another director, another ad directed readers to take the quiz, veggie burger or dog food. <laughs> take that impossible burger. That's, wow, that's when they fight. push back, that's a hard pushback. And I'm sorry, yeah. they're going to lose because yeah, was, yeah. there have been enough stories about what's hiding in my meat. Oh, how dare they make fun of Alpo anyway? Screw you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ford and McDonald's are teaming up on a sustainability partnership. That makes sense. <laughs> in which the automaker will use coffee waste to manufacture car parts like headlamp housings and other components. I'm just thankful, Matt, this isn't going the other way. There's no word yet that McDonald's will be using, will be making McNuggets out of broken rear view mirrors. So, <laughs> so that's a win. a win. Sustainability for the win. Repsol says it will be carbon neutral by 2050, becoming the first oil major to take a pledge of this kind. How dare they? It's a bit of a slippery slope, isn't it, Matt? So can we just tell people what carbon neutral is? Yeah, go for it. So carbon neutral is essentially the amount of carbon that is spewed from making whatever you're making is offset um, by the amount of carbon that you save or your energy efficiency so that you net zero carbon to make what you make and and business roundtable i know you're listening and i know you have a lot of a lot of your members like exxon and chevron but you should be promoting this right this is clearly a win for stakeholders this is so a, get on it this is a win only if people remember in the year that repsol <laughs> says they're gonna get net zero yeah because we'll report we'll report on it it's not so much a thing that when they don't get there the FBI is warning U.S. citizens that smart TVs can provide hackers a window into their homes, encouraging owners to stick tape over their smart TV cameras. Yeah, baby, 2019. I pay $1,000 for technology that needs to be immediately ruined with duct tape. I hope that that gets paired with a commercial for Portal from Facebook, which is the eye of Hal watching you all day. But wait a minute, since somebody's stealing the TV off my doorstep anyway, can't we just 
wait and see who stole it by spying on them through the camera? I think they break the TV and use it to make head casings for Ford cars. At a SoftBank cafe in Tokyo, yes, the same company that just handed a failure $1.7 billion, Pepper the robot will take your order, engage in small talk, and clean up after you. How quickly until there's a lawsuit from Pepper to the first customer for sexual harassment? Wait, Pepper's suing the customer? <laughs> Pepper sues the customer. <laughs> I like it. Uh, big tech is investing in the affordable housing crisis they helped to create. They're all pledging about anywhere from $500 million to $2.5 billion, except, of course, Amazon is – all they're doing is opening a homeless shelter, so that it's not going to cost quite that much. Meanwhile, Adam Newman was paid $1.7 billion for screwing up. So was Travis Kalanick. Yeah, it's true. Uh, anything to say about that? Mm. Not really. No. Chinese citizens feel the U.S. had its time, and now it's our time. That's it? That's the story? <laughs> so you hear that, TikTok? You be you. Don't listen to the haters. All right. This is a good one. After That's Papa John's... Story. After Papa John's founder, John Schnatter, said that he thinks Papa John's pizza tastes different after eating more than 40 Papa John's pizzas in 30 days, the current Papa John CEO says the pizza recipe hasn't changed. So it sounds like Papa John has been butt-dialing Domino's by mistake. <laughs> oh, or he could just taste all the spit from the employees Ooh. that don't like him. Uh, Peloton has responded to criticism over one of its holiday ads, saying it's disappointed in how some have misinterpreted this commercial, but said it has received an outpouring of support from those who understand what we're trying to communicate. In other words, to paraphrase, Peloton is saying, bite me. It's six venture capitalists saying, we've invested a billion dollars, we still love you. All right, Zuck and his wife still on the news, uh, Zuck in their $74 billion are giving parenting advice. All right. Mm. This is parenting advice for billionaires. First of all, they say that they could buy their two daughters almost anything, but they don't. That's great parenting, right, Matt? <laughs> and when they say almost anything, I think they realize the one thing they can't buy for their children is normal parents. <laughs> uh, Zuck also said, his daughters, who are ages two and four, have chores, right? Huh. So he, he shared a video on Facebook of them loading a dishwasher. So, yeah, handling knives. That's decent parenting. Uh, Sergey Brin and Larry Page haven't given interviews in, like, five years. Zuck's just got to take a page out of that. Yeah. They also said they take their kids to work and that work come, comes home, too. So, in other words, uh, your parents are crazy. So, yeah, they must be good parents. I don't know what's going on there. I, I don't know what's going on in that household. It's this too is much. like a middle class narrative is what they're going for. Uh, We're just your other, average billionaire. Just relax. Yeah. In other related Facebook news, uh, Instagram will begin to require birthdays from all new users. The policy should be a boon to targeted advertising. Despite Instagram saying advertisers have nothing to do with this. The policy change could also help stave off passage of costly child safety and data privacy regulation. So here's the genius punchline, Matt. Instagram will not verify the birth dates. I was born in 1917, according to my <laughs> Instagram account. <laughs> so yeah, pretty Facebooky, huh? Just making shit up as, as they go. Just making shit up. All right. Apple admits oh, the side iPhone note, owned yeah. by Facebook. So yeah, exactly. Apple admits the iPhone 11 Pro still collects location data even when you tell it not to. <laughs> so I'm holding my iPhone right yeah. now. Thank you for knowing that I'm sitting in a decrepit little office in yeah, my stop, house. Stop bullying your phone in the first place. <laughs> uh, and the story I already mentioned, uh, Alibaba-backed startup AutoX has applied to test self-driving vehicles without an in-car backup driver in California. So let's keep being afraid of TikTok. <laughs> Boeing's chief engineer, John Hamilton, who was leading the response to the 737 MAX crisis, who testified along so with, he testified alongside with CEO Dennis, uh, he's gone. He's leaving the company, but Dennis still has a job. So nothing to see here, people. Nothing to see. Here. You wonder what his golden parachute was. Uh, 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 well, yeah. I mean, thank God he had a parachute. <laughs> 
That was a weird 737 Max joke. Yeah. Terrible, terrible puns. Thanks for Mark Wiseman, global head of active equities at BlackRock, and one of several people tipped as CEO Larry Fink's possible successors, is leaving the firm following an alleged violation of the company's relationship at work policy. Wiseman is. Wiseman is the second executive to leave BlackRock this year due to personal conduct after its head of human resources was fired for failing to adhere to company policy. So this is a pretty that's a pretty big symbol there. Here's what BlackRock had to say in our, our ironic BS apology of the week. This is not who BlackRock is. This is not our culture. <laughs> so, All right. did, was that issued by the head of HR? Or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to cover up their stinking culture by saying it's not their culture. Finally, as part of its long-standing commitment to misclassifying drivers, Uber has, in at least one office, created separate bathrooms for drivers and employees. Uh, this is in your your neck of the woods in Providence, Rhode Island. Oh, PVD. But, but, but at least the Uber spokesperson responded pretty honestly to this by saying this was a mistake and we regret it. We are removing the signs and have made it clear that this was not appropriate. So, so that was a lot of biz nuggets. I know we're out of time on biz nuggets, but I have one question for you about all of them. Yep. Which yep. which company that you mentioned would you invest in? <laughs> uh, I got to go Al- Alibaba. Alibaba, I think, is in. the winner. Alibaba yep. stands head and shoulders.